so <coughs> first I will just explain sort of this uh, process with uh, wool. Uh, we got a whole pallet of uh, felts from uh, wild sheep, which is unwashed and unprocessed. It's very like felt. So the first thing we had to do was uh, wash the wool and then we dried the wool uh, and then we needed to uh, card it because we wanted to, uh, to make felt out of it. So, and we don't have any, didn't have any equipment for it. And this sort of traditional way of doing it with these hand carders would take like forever and a, forever and a day with all this wood. So we tried to build some things. We watched a bit on the internet of how we might do it. And then this is like the first machine we built. Uh, it's basically inspired by these hand carders with a lot of nails, small nails. But it turned out that the nails are too brittle, so they break. And now the machine is uh, uh, not functional anymore because it has too few nails. But I think it was like a good idea. Uh, so we took this idea and we made some... Uh, actually, we made another uh, model first, which is not here, which had two coarse nails, so it was too hard to work with. And then uh, in the weekend, uh, these machines were uh, made, which is okay. After this, we built this big machine. Uh, which in theory would work very well and we could process a lot of wood, almost like industrial scale, but hand cranked. Sorry, the crank. Uh, now it, it still needs to have some, some days of work uh, because it's, uh, the nails are not aligned. Which is sad. process thing, it's quite soft and fluffy and nice. And now, after this, we will, uh, we will uh, put it on the floor uh, and we will uh, put it in layers with the fibers sort of opposite, like this, like this. You know, this is the Utah. Yeah. So, but, yeah, so as, a, as a temporary space, you know, the, where the tens of memorials use. Uh, and we will have water, soap water on top of it, and then a uh, layer of cloth, and then we will move on top of it. Thank you. 